Alright guys, so now it is time to implement the banner part of our portfolio. First, inside the banner folder, we need to add a component and call that profile component. Then, generate the React code using React snippets. Then, come to the app.js and import this component under the header. Now, we have the text under the header in the UI. Alright, so again we change this div to style dash component div and call it container or whatever name you want to call it. Then call the div down here for styling. Now inside the container div, we want to have a div called text and inside that we have an h4 and write hello i am inside of that but the i am must be a green color so if you remember from the last video we have stored the green color under the green class so i just wrap it with the span tag and add a green class to it then we call the text div again for styling now we need to have an h1 for the name, an h3 for the position, a key tag for the description, and finally a button. As you can see we have them all in the UI. Now down the bottom we need to add a social div for our social icon. We call it down here. Inside this, we need to have a p tag and then a div with the class of social icons for our icons. Inside this, we need to write a span tag that has an href. Now we must import the icon from React icons. Now we write them all in each span tags. As you can see. We have them all displayed in the UI. Alright, once we have the icons, we need to add our profile image. So I add another div and call it profile. Inside that, we are gonna have an image. We need to call the div, and then this link will be our portfolio image. I will put this link in the description so you can have access to it. Once we have the text and image, now it is time to put them beside each other. For that, we are gonna use Flexbox. So inside the container div, we add a display flex, cap of two ring for the spaces, and a padding of three ring. Now they are beside each other, but we need to add design to more elements here. We come back to CSS and inside the text div, we write flex1 to give it a full width. And then for the h4, we add a padding of 1 rim 0 and a font width of 500. For the h1, we add a font size of 2 rim and this font family. Then we set the letter spacing to 2 pixels. To add a little space between each letters. Now the texts are looking good. I need a green color for my name as well. So I come back to add a green class to my H1 tag. Now you can see my name color is changed. Okay, for the H3 we add a font weight of 500, font size of 1.2 rim. Padding bottom, 1.2 rim, and a thick transform of capitalized to make the first letter of each word capital. For the P tag, we only need a phone weight of 300. For the bottom, we need to have a padding of 0.7 rim for the top and bottom, and 2 rim for the left and right. A margin top, cursor pointer, a background color and set the border to none. 
gave it a color of white, a phone weight of 500. Now we need to add a shadow around this button. So I just copy and paste the shadow and for the hover we set the shadow as well but with a different background color. Okay guys, now let's style the social icons. So I come back to CSS and under the social div we add a margin top 3 ring and display flex, align item center, and give it a gap of one rim. Now the text and icons are beside each other. For the P tag, we add a font size of 0.9 rim. And for the social icons div, we add a display flex, align item center, gap of one rim, and for each span, that holds the icons, we give a width of 2.3 rims and a height of 2 rim. Now we need to add a clip part to make a shape for each icon. You can search for the clip part generator in Google and get the shape on your own. Now I just copy and paste this clip part code and then add this background color. Now you can see we have this shape, but our icons need to be in the middle of the shape. For that I grab the A tag, add a color of white and a position absolute. Then we must have a position relative to its parent div so it shouldn't overflow. So for the top we add 55%, for the left we add 50% and add a transform translate to minus 50 and minus 50 persons. You can see they are in the middle of the shape. Now we need to add a hover animation for each icon. So under the social div and inside the span tag we add a hover and give it a transform rotate and we want it to rotate to 360 degree. Then add a transition to the span tag for animating smoothly. You can see the icons are animating so smoothly. Alright, now it is time to style the profile image. So inside the profile div, we grab the image tag and give it a weight of 25 frame. Now you can see the image becomes smaller. Then we need to add a shadow to it. So I just copy and paste the shadow which we have used before. Now we have the shadow around the profile image. Once we have added the shadow, we need to add a hover animation to the profile image. So I grab the image tag on hover and add a transform to translate Y and add minus 10 pixel. Then add a transition to image itself to animate smoothly. So if I hover over the image, the image is animating so smoothly. All right, now we need to decrease the width of this banner. So inside the container, I add a width of 80% and a max width, so it shouldn't move more than this width. And finally, a margin zero auto to put it in the middle. I think we made a mistake here. So instead of this padding, we must have a padding top. Now, our banner is looking good, but we need to increase the height of this banner. So I navigate to app.js and in banner div we add a height of 100 view height. Now the height is looking good. Let's implement the responsive part. So I open the developer tool and find what sizes should be edited and responsive. So at first, similar to header, at the 840 pixel width, 
we add a 90% weight to our banner container. And if I decrease the weight again, you can see in the 790 pixel our image is looking so big. So I come back and under the image tag, get the maximum weight of 790 pixel and add a weight of 20 rem. Now if I decrease more, you can see at the weight of 690 pixel, the P tag of icon is breaking. I add this code under the P tag, change the weight and give it a font size of 0.7 rem. And on 660 pixel, I decrease the weight of my image again. Now on 640 pixel, we change the flex direction to column to put them on top of each other. For the profile image on 640 pixel, we need to add a weight of 100%. So it takes the whole space. Alright, now it's looking really good, but it's not scrolling down. So to fix it, we go back to app.js and on 640 pixel, we add height of 100% and a padding bottom of 1 ring. Now you can see I can scroll to the end of this banner. Alright guys, now we have a responsive banner. Let me open the navigation bar. I think we need to fix this error. So I go back to the header component and under the nav tag we need to add a Z index of 99. But this time we lost the bar. Okay, let's see how we can fix this. I go to bars class and add a Z index of 100. Now you can see we have the bar on top of our navigation. Now we need to make the position of nav to fix because we don't want it to move when we scroll down. Alright, there you go guys. Now we have a fully responsive banner.